time to reconnect with a breeding program that is trying to produce a small fruited super hot. Welcome to Peppers mm. Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> <coughs> The main protagonist for 2023 will be the breeding line of the Ahi Charipa, a cross between a Carolina Reaper chocolate and an Ahi Charapita. Those are two berries of the Ahi Charipa F2 specimen 2B. And I'm going to take some seeds from it. I was going to produce a more elaborate analysis of all the plants that I tested, but specimen 2B was just the best. Oh, that fruit is a little bit moldy. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, specimen 2B was just the best. It had small fruits, excellent short heat burst, and no hint of habanero taste. So I'm taking those seeds. And let's check on the moldy one. Hmm. Those don't look too bad. I will take them too. And I also have some plants of the Ahi Charipa F2 uh, that I overwintered that did not produce any fruits. And I'll give them a second chance. Maybe not fair, but... Uh, if natural selection isn't fair, why should my artificial selection be fair? Right? My Cariolokia Screepa Strain Zero F3 plants last year, hmm, none of them did produce any fruits, and most of them died due to pandemic-related logistical troubles. Uh, those are all that are left, and uh, I'll test them this year. Finally, there are two plants of my good luck chili pepper, the most recent generation, and one of them started to flower really early. So, in conclusion, my peppery plans for 2023 will be grow out the Ahi Charipa F3 plants and check them. See that my Cariolokia Screepa Strain Zero F3 plants will produce fruits this year and check those too. Maybe cross the Cariolokia Screepa Strain Zero F3 and the Ahi Charipa F3. That could be a nice match, really. And finally, hope for some good luck provided by my good luck chili pepper. I guess I will cross that one into my proper breeding program one time in the future, but not this year, I guess. <laughs>